if you notice further on, he says that, he says that, and when God created man, the Bible says, and he blessed man. Hallelujah. And he says, go forth, multiply. He says, and replenish the earth. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So the intention of God was a good intention for man. Praise the name of the Lord. But we know that what happened after man was put into, into the Garden of Eden was that Satan himself came as a serpent and came. And what his plan was, was to distort the image of man. Praise the name of the Lord. The image that God has planned for man, Satan came to distort it. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why when he came to uh, 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 Eve at the tree, he says, has God said, has God said that you should not eat it? <laughs> Hallelujah. And that was why uh, Eve, at the end of the day, ate the fruit. And the Bible says the glory that was upon man disappeared that day. Praise the name of the Lord. So Satan, from that day, his intention for man is to what? To distort the image that God has planned for you. Praise the name of the Lord. God says, let us make man in his own image. And that is what his intention is. That man should be in his own image. Praise the name of the Lord. But Satan is always there wanting to distort that image in one way or the other. He wants to alter the image that God says that he has planned for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And what is that image? That we may be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. That we may multiply. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That we may replenish the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then he says that we may have what? Dominion. Hallelujah. Amen. And subdue the earth. Mm. So your portion as a child of God is to be fruitful. Your portion is what to multiply. Your portion is to subdue. And your portion is to have dominion. But the enemy is always attacking that. He wants to distort that image of man. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Anything that will not make you be a, be a blessed uh, uh, person, anything that will not make you fruitful, anything that will not make you multiply, anything that will not make you subdue, anything that will not make you have dominion, that means, I mean, that is from what Satan. Anything that hinders you from being fruitful, anything that hinders you from what, from, from, from multiplying, from subduing, and from having dominion only can come from Satan. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because God's intention for you is to be blessed. God's intention for you is to be fruitful. God's intention for you is to subdue. God's intention for you is to have dominion. Hallelujah. Amen. But Satan is always out to distort that image that God has for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're going to look at this story here in Luke chapter 13 uh, from verse 10 before we start to pray. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, now, now he was teaching, that's Jesus, was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, a woman who had the spirit of what? Infirmity. The Bible talks that, it says, there was a woman in this synagogue. Everybody was there in the synagogue. Everybody was there listening to the word of God and praying. But he says there was this woman that had what? The spirit of what? Infirmity. Not for one day, not for two days, not for, not for a year, but for 18 good years. 18 good years. Can you see what I'm saying? That the, our enemy is out to distort the image of man. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says this woman has been suffering for 18 years because of what the spirit of infirmity praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. and that couldn't have come from god but it came from what satan praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. and he says and was not on top of that on top of suffering with the spirit of infirmity the bible says she was what bent over and could in no way raise herself up Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is somebody that God has created to be blessed, to be fruitful, to multiply, to have to, to, to subdue and to have dominion. And this is somebody that has been suffering 
that same person has been suffering under the spirit of infirmity, bent over for, that, for 18 good years, not able to raise up their head. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, but when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Why? Why did Jesus call this woman? Because Jesus looked at this woman and found out that this woman is not displaying the glory of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Not displaying the glory of God. Anything that is not making you display the glory of God today, Amen. the Lord is going to remove it from Amen. your life. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He was looking at this woman and said, this woman, how can everybody be standing straight? And only this woman is bent over. Mm. Not only that, but for 18 oh, years. But for 18 years. Yes, and he called her and he says, Woman, thou art loose from that your infirmity. And he said, and he laid his hand upon uh, his hands on her, on her, and immediately she was made straight and what? She began to glorify God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's why I say today, God is going to bring about deliverance. And God is going to bring about what glorification. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because when that woman saw that <laughs> all these years I have been losing, she says, all these years I couldn't stand straight. Today I came to the synagogue and I met with Jesus. And I was able to stand straight. The Bible says she began to what, give glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God had glorified her. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the midst of the people that knew her, that couldn't do anything for her for 18 years, Amen. one appearance of Jesus Whoa. made the difference. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And we have that name here today. We have that power yes. that Jesus had to, uh, uh, to lose that woman. We have that same power here today. Yes. And that same power we are going to use to deliver yes, ourselves. Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But you know what? On that day, when he delivered uh, this lady, of, of, well, I would not say unfortunate, but what happened was that it was on the, a Sabbath day. It was on a Sabbath day. And the Bible says that when the people saw that this woman was delivered, they became what indignant. That part of them became indignant. They were saying, ah, why should Jesus deliver this woman on what uh, on, on a Sabbath day when we are not supposed to be doing anything? He says, why do you come and deliver? He says, why can't she come on the six days that we are not supposed to do anything and be healed? Mm. And the Lord said to her, and the Lord said to them, he says, you hypocrites. Yes. You hypocrites. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why to... No day, there's no day that we cannot be delivered. Yes. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. We don't have to wait until the six days that, that are available to us. Today, God can bring about what? Today. Deliverance. Amen. Any day, God can bring about yes, deliverance. Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's what Jesus was telling us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he says to them, you hypocrites, when on Sabbath day, don't you lose your, your donkeys, your cattle and everything, don't you lose them and take them to get water? Hallelujah. Is that not doing work? He says, how much more the daughter of Abraham? How much more the daughter of Abraham? Sons and daughters of Abraham, that is the same thing that Jesus, that's the way Jesus is looking at you. A son and a daughter of Abraham. Amen. None of, no son and no daughter of Abraham should be oppressed, Amen. should be depressed, Amen. should be uh, strangled by the enemy or, be, but, or should be suffering any bondage. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's what Jesus was saying. He said, how can a son of daughter, uh, a daughter of Abraham, suffering for 18 years and then you are saying on Sunday when I healed her, Amen. it is Sabbath day. He says, you hypocrites. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's why today we are going to be praying. Hallelujah for deliverance. Amen. Praise the name of Amen. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because anything that has hindered, anything that has hindered the glory of God in your life, God is going to uproot them today. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. This woman, for 18 good years, she could not she could not lift up her head. 
Look at how many years has passed. Look at how many blessings, how many things that God would have, I mean, the, the kind of glory that she would have displayed for 18 year, good years. The kind of blessings she would have received for 18 good Look at everything has passed her by. Praise the name of the Lord. Just because the enemy struck her with what the spirit of infirmity. Praise the name of the Lord. The same thing is not only the spirit of infirmity, but we have the spirit of what depression we have the spirit of 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 uh of, of um, oppression too praise the name of the lord Amen. different kinds of evil spirits that's what the enemy used to hold people down praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. so that they, do, they are not able what to display the glory of god mm. praise the name of the lord Amen. just the way the enemy used what oh, uh, 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 the issue of what blood to hold down that woman for 12 good years mm. He held down that woman. Amen. 38 good years. The enemy used what? That spirit that was uh, that ho- held that man bound. That he could not get healed. Praise the name of the mm. Lord. Mm. At the pool of Bethsaida. 38 good years the man was waiting for his healing. But at the appearance of Jesus. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That man got healed. Mm. And that same name we have today as I say. Mm. The name of Jesus. Amen. That same power that rose, that healed that woman with the issue of the blood, that raised this woman that was bent, that made that man get healed, that man by the pool of Bethsaida get healed, that opened the eyes of blind Bartimaeus, that same power we have here today. Praise the name of the Lord. And I know that the Lord is going to loosen us, loosen anyone that is under bondage of the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus only spoke one word to this woman. He said, woman, Thou art loosed. Amen. That means the enemy has held us tight in what held her in bondage for years. For years. And I don't know what bondage you have been held in for years. But today is going to come to an end. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Today is going to come to an end. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So we won't be wasting much time. We are just going to pray before I hand over to Apostle to lead us in the path of glorification. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to pray some prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. And I just looked at this woman. I said, what kind of prayers would this woman have been praying? She has come there for 18, I mean, like 18 good years and nothing happened. But this day she came, Jesus saw her. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That means she was, she has been coming there and been praying. She has been praying and praying and praying. Hallelujah. Mm. And I just said, Lord, lead me to the kind of prayer this woman would have been praying for deliverance. Because she, all she would have been coming there is, Lord, deliver me, Lord, deliver me. But I found a prayer that we are going to use here. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, 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 a, a psalm that we are going to use here to pray. So I want us to turn to Psalm 71. Psalm 71. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Psalm 71. And we are going to pray from Psalm 71. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to take it likely like verse by verse. Because I believe this is something that woman, that was in the woman's heart when she was coming to the synagogue. This is the kind of prayer that she would have been praying. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Psalm 71 and in verse 1. Psalm 71 in verse 1. What does it say? It says, In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be what? Put to shame. Let me never be put to shame. How does the enemy distort the image that God wants us to? I thought, you know, I began saying that God's intention for us is to be blessed fruitful, multiply, subdue, and have dominion. But the enemy comes with what so what form of bondage or the other just to distort that intention of God for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. One of those things that the enemy does is to put us to shame. But that shall not be our portion from today. Amen. Because any shame that we are suffering, any shame that we are suffering is going to be lifted today. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because if you look at if you look at Psalm 25, Psalm 25, verse 2 and 3, Psalm 25, verse 2 and 3, it says, Oh my God, I trust in you. Let me not be put to shame. Let my enemies, 
let not my enemies triumph over me. Indeed, let no one who waits on you be ashamed. Let those who let those be ashamed who deal treacherously without cease. Mm. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. So shame is not your portion. Amen. We are going to ask God tonight that anything that the enemy has bound, put it as uh, I mean, us used to hold us bound and put us in shame. That let that be removed today Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In case of that woman with the issue of blood, it was the issue of blood what for 12 good years. Mm. This lady, what kept her, <laughs> what put shame onto her, because not many people wanted to relate with her. She was just a single person there in the in the church. She was not there was no, I mean, she the Bible didn't say or talk about her friends or anything. She there was a lot of shame, praise the name of the Lord, Amen. because of how the uh, the enemy has bent her over, how the enemy has struck her with what the spirit of infirmity. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, but today we are going to say, Lord, let us not be ashamed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Any way, any way the enemy has held us bound with any form of shame, that let it be removed in the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and pray today. Let's ask the Lord to take away every shame. Shame is not your portion. As a child of Abraham, as a daughter of Abraham, as a son of Abraham, shame is not your portion. Shame is not our portion. We are asking Lord God Almighty that you remove every shame from our lives in the name of Jesus. Any bondage that the enemy has held us in. Lord God Almighty, that is bring about shame in our lives. We ask, O oh Lord, let it be terminated today in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, O oh Lord, let it shame that the enemy has brought upon foundation ministry. We ask, O oh Lord, let it be removed in the name of Jesus. Shame is not our portion. It is not the portion of our children. I declare that, Lord, you will not keep me ashamed. I shall not be ashamed because I serve you. My children will not be ashamed because they serve you. No member of foundation ministry worldwide will be ashamed because they serve you in the name of Jesus. Shame, we sing, Lord God Almighty. Let it be removed from our lives, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We say no shame, no shame, no shame. No shame. Any shame that the enemy, O Lord, Father God Almighty, has not planned, O Lord, for my destiny. Lord, I ask, O Lord, let it be terminated today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 2. He says, Deliver me in your righteousness. Another version says, You know, you always do the right thing. That's what another version says. He says, Deliver me in your righteousness. Another version says, I know you do the right thing. He says, and cause me to escape. Incline your ears to me and save me. We are going to pray today that the Lord will cause us to escape. Anywhere we find, our, find ourselves trapped, the Lord is going to make a way of escape for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know how the enemy is, is entrapping you today. But today I say and I declare that a way of escape has come for you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because the Lord always does the right thing for his own children. Amen. When he sees they are trapped, he makes a way of escape for them. That's why the psalmist say, I know that you do the right thing. Make a way of escape for me. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what we are going to pray today. Mm. Just the way that lady would have prayed in the synagogue. Make a way of escape. From this bend, bending over, praise the name of the Lord. From this tribulation, from this suffering that I'm going through, make a way of escape. 
praise the name of the Lord. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to the Lord tonight. Let's ask the Lord to make a way of escape. In the name of Jesus. Let's say, Lord, we are asking that you make a way of escape for us. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere that we find ourselves trapped. Lord, anywhere that Lord God Almighty, we find ourselves in prison. Lord God Almighty, we ask you to make a way of escape for us. In the name of Jesus, make a way of escape for our children, our youth, for Lord God Almighty, every member of our nation ministry. We say make a way of escape in the name of Jesus. Open the doors, O Lord, that have been locked, O Lord, against us. Open those doors. Cause us to escape. Cause us, O Lord, Father, to be set free from every bondage. In the name of Jesus, save Lord, save my household, save my children, save every man of our nation ministry, the Lord, save everyone that is related to us, the Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh, cause the way of Lord of escape for us, let us not be trapped, let us not, Lord, be in prison no more, in the name of Jesus, the Lord, for I know that you do the right thing, O Lord, I know that you will not allow me to suffer, I know that you will not allow me, O Lord, be a trap, O Lord, I know that you will not God allow me, O Lord, to not Lord, be make a way of escape. by the enemy. Lord, make a way of escape for us. In the name of Jesus. Make a way of escape for us. Make a way of escape for us. Make a way of escape for us. Break every chain. Break every shackle. Break every wall. In the name of Jesus. Let the walls fall down. In the name of Jesus. Let the prison walls fall down. In the name of Jesus. Let the loose doors fall down. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 3. Verse 3. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 3. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to ask the Lord to command victories for us. Hallelujah. Amen. The psalmist say, command victory for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Command victories for me. Let us see what the Psalm, uh, Psalm 71 verse 3 says. He says, be my strong refuge to which I may resort continually. Hallelujah. Amen. You have given commandment to save me. You have given commandment to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Psalm 44. Psalm 44 verse 4. He says, you are my king, O God. Command victory for Jacob. What we are going to change that to command victory for my name. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Command victory for Albert. Convert, command victory for Chin. We command victory for just mention your name there. Psalm 44, verse 4. We are asking God to command victory for us mm -hmm. because He's our strong tower, He's our refuge. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to ask the Lord speak victory for us. Hallelujah. Amen. Command victory for us Amen. over the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. And once God commands it, nothing can change it. Praise the name of the Lord. So know that you are victorious today as you pray this prayer. Just ask the Lord to command victory for you in the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and talk to the Lord. Command victory for us. Command victory for us. I ask, O Lord, that Father God Almighty, as my strong tower, as Lord God Almighty, my fortress, I pray that Lord God Almighty, that you command victory, Lord, for Albert, in the name of Jesus. Command victory for Jemima. Command victory, O Lord, Father, for Emmanuel, for Lord God Almighty, now. Lord, command victory for them in the name of Jesus. Command, Lord, victory, Lord, Father, for Jesus. Command, Lord, Lord, victory, Lord, Lord, Father, for Zanita in the name of Jesus. For Samuel, for Lord, Akuna, command victory. For Fulai, Lord, Father, command victory in the name of Jesus. Command victory, Lord, 
Father God Almighty, for Lord Amarach, for Lord Command Victory, in the name of Jesus, for I know Lord God, Father, I pray Command Victory for Tara, I pray Command Victory for them, in the name of Jesus, make us victorious over the enemy, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, give us victory over the enemy, let us not, Lord, let the enemy not triumph over us, in the name of Jesus, rather let us triumph over the enemy, daily, in the name of Jesus, O Lord, Lord, I ask, Lord, command victory for me, command victory for my household, command victory for every member of Foundation Ministry worldwide, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to verse 4. Verse 4. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to pray from verse 4. It says, Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked. It is only the wicked that can what? Hold that woman down for 18 years and make her suffer for 18 years. It's only a wicked spirit. And this, the, the Bible says here in verse, in verse 4, Psalm 71 verse 4, it says, Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous, out of the out of the hand of what the what cruel man praise the name of the lord he said deliver us deliver us deliver us praise the name of the lord let's also look at psalm 140 psalm 140 1 to 3 psalm 140 1 to 3 he says deliver me O lord from evil men preserve me from what violent men who plant evil in their hearts who plan evil in their hearts. They continually gather together for war. They sharpen their tongues like serpents. They poison, uh, oh hallelujah. The poison of the apps is under their lips. Poison is under their lips. Yes. It says deliver us from them. Hallelujah. Pre preserve, preserve us from what the wicked and violent men. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Let's go ahead and talk to the Lord. Deliver us today from what the wicked men, from the violent men, from the cruel men, from the unrighteous. Deliver us. Let's go ahead and pray. Let's ask the Lord to deliver us in the name of Jesus. Lord, deliver us. Deliver us. We pray that you deliver us. Oh Lord, and preserve us from the violent men in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, from the wicked men, from the wicked ones, oh Lord, deliver us, deliver our household, deliver and remember from this ministry in the name of Jesus. Lord, the cruel ones, oh Lord, they are so to deliver us from them. Lord, the ones, oh Lord, with poison under their lips, oh Lord, deliver us, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. And verse 5, it says, For you are my hope, O Lord God. You are my tr uh, uh, you are my trust 
from my youth. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, by Amen. you, by you, verse 6, by you I have been upheld from birth. You, yes, uh, you are he who took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall continually be to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says he has been the one that has upheld us from birth. He's the one who took us out of our mother's womb. Praise the yes. name of the Lord. Amen. Then let's cap it. Let's cap that with Isaiah chapter 46. Isaiah chapter 46, 3 and 4. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 3 and 4. He says, listen to me, O house of Jacob, O house of Albert. I'm listening. He says, and all the remnant, remnant, uh, remnant of the house of Israel. He says what? Who have been upheld by me from birth? Who have been carried from the womb? Even to your old age, I am he. And even to gray years, I will carry you. I have made and I will bear. Even I will carry you and deliver you. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to... We are going to ask the Lord to carry us. Continually carry us. Hallelujah. Amen. Because when we are being carried by the Lord, nothing can touch us. Hallelujah. Amen. No evil Amen. can touch us. And God promises, he says, from our mother's womb, he has been carrying us. And then he says, he will carry us until old age, until gray hairs. He says he will carry us. We are going to ask the Lord, continually carry us. Continue to carry us. Continue to carry our children. Continue to carry every member of Foundation Ministry in the name of Jesus. Because when we are being carried by God, it's a form of, of deliverance. Because we are carried away from evil. We are carried away from every plan of the enemy. We are not, uh, they won't allow the enemy to touch us. Praise the name of the Lord. So when we are being carried by the Lord, it's just like a mother carrying their child. He won't allow, she won't allow any evil come to that child. Mm. So also God says, I will carry you. So let's ask God, continually carry us, even throughout the year 2020, for the remaining months of this year. Continually carry us in the name of Jesus. Lord, you have carried us. Lord, from our mother's womb, you have carried us right up till now. Lord, I pray that you carry, continually carry us right up to the end of 2020, into the years ahead of us. Continually carry us in the name of Jesus. Carry us, carry our children, carry every member of Foundation Ministries in the name of Jesus. Carry the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. Continually carry us to Lord. Do not allow the hands of the enemy to touch us. Do not allow the Lord that we can hands to touch us. Do not allow, O Lord Father, Lord, the enemy to distort our image. Lord, in the name of Jesus. There shall be no loss in the name of Jesus. With long life, will you satisfy us in the name of Jesus. We shall not die, but give, Lord, 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 but live to Lord, give you all the glory in the land of the living, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And finally, we're just going to pray this prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Before we hand over, before I hand over, hallelujah, it says, let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your glory all day. Let my mouth be what? Filled with your praise. Hallelujah. Mm. Is somebody that is, be, that is delivered that can praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Did the Bible say that woman was praising God? She was just there, but not able to praise God. He says after she was delivered, then she was able to glorify God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to ask the Lord 
<laughs> Let our mouth be continually filled what with praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When our mouths are continually filled with praise, it's a sign of deliverance. It's a sign of deliverance. Because only what the living, the Bible says only the living can what praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So we're going to ask the Lord, fill my mouth with praise daily. Let my mouth be filled with praise. Hallelujah. Amen. And with his glory. And with your glory all day. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Let my mouth be filled with what your praise and with your glory. All day long. Every day of my life. Let me have no cause to sorrow. Let me have no cause to be in pain. Hallelujah. Let me have no cause to be sick. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So let's ask the Lord just to fill our mouth with praises daily. Hallelujah. Ma sheke le bo santa kuriya laka. Le brodos to kuriya le bo santa kuriya laba. Lord, we ask the Lord that you fill, fill our mouths, the Lord, with praise and with the glory. Each and every day in the name of Jesus. Ma ke seke le bo santa kuriya. La brodos seke le laba shuto kuriya laba. Fill my mouth with praise. Fill the mouth of my my children with praise in the name of Jesus. Fill them out of every member foundation ministry worldwide with praise, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let no sorrow come our way. Let no pain come our way. Let no disaster come our way. Let nothing, O Lord, that will cause us, O Lord, Father, to be afraid come our way in the name of Jesus, O Lord. Deliver us, O Lord. Let our mouths be filled with praise. Deliver us daily. Deliver our children daily. Deliver every member of the church ministry daily. Let our mouths, O Lord, be filled with praise and with your glory. In the name of Jesus. Esa kataya laba. Eka tu sabra leketeya. Eka tu sakoria laba. Esa mbali akata. Eka tu sabra leketeya. Eka tu sakoria laba. Eka ruba soto koria libos koria. Lapa ye kataya. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Like Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Messiah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, and I pray today Amen. that, Lord, in any way that the life any of anyone has been distorted by the enemy, let there be restoration today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone suffering from the spirit of what? Infirmity? Spirit of oppression? Spirit of depression? Spirit, oh Lord, Father God Almighty, of dismay, Lord, spirit of discouragement, anyone suffering, Lord, from any evil spirit, Lord God Almighty, I pray, let there be a reverse today, in the name of Jesus, let there be restoration today, in the name of Jesus, let them take up the image that you have made them for, in the name of Jesus, that image that says that we are blessed, that we are fruitful, that Lord we shall multiply, that we shall subdue and have dominion. Lord, we receive today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, I read the Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's just worship Him. Let's give Him praise. Hallelujah. We Thank give you glory, Lord, Lord, Lord as we honor you. Oh, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are
so that we can move to the next point. So if you have anointing oil, please would you take the anointing oil and put upon yourself because the anointing oil is to activate the glory of God. It's terminating the, all of every area we are sick that is already breaking it and then the anointing oil is activating the glory. You know, we, when you get a card, you activate the glory. For these 17 days we have been praying and the glory is already there. We are going to activate it to start working in the way it has never worked before. Amen. Praise the Lord. So the first prayer point we are going to be praying is, we are going to be asking God that the glory will be revealed to us and in us. The glory be revealed in, in us and to us. In Romans chapter 8 verse 18, he says, For I consider the sufferings of this present time are not worth to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. There is a glory that is going to be revealed in us. So what you are suffering is nothing compared to the glory. So don't keep your eyes on the suffering. Keep your eyes on the glory. So we are going to be praying that God, let the glory be revealed to us and let the glory be revealed in us. Let the glory be revealed to us and in us. I want you to begin to pray. Father, let your glory be revealed to me. Let me know it. Let me know. Let me know. Give me a revelation of your glory in a way I've never seen it before. And let it be, O God, or let it be visible in me. Reveal it, O God, to me in the name of Jesus. Reveal your glory. O God Almighty, make it to God. Make it, make it plain, O God, for me to see. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Amen. Name. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. You know, every born again believer is entitled to glory. God woke me up today and He was telling me if a man is really born again, he's a new creation. All things have passed away and all things have become new, which means you have moved from the life of disgrace to the life of glory. So if your life is not showing glory, you have not seen God yet. You need to begin to see your life to show the glory of God the way we have never seen it before. Because we need to begin to see miracles in our life, signs and wonders in our life. We need to see it. If Moses saw glory, you will see glory. So we are going to be praying. Like in the day of the apostles, the Bible says in Acts of the Apostles, hope powerfully today is a Pentecost night. In the day of the Apostles, in Acts of the Apostles chapter 2, he said when the believers gather together in a spirit of unity, I know we have unity. This fasting and prayer have been done in unity and we are still in unity. So we are the way, when we were seeking God, the glory appeared in the upper room. When you fast and pray and your glory appears, and the glory appeared in the upper room on the day of Pentecost and sat on the head of each person. The glory
glory sat on the head of each person. Each person, not just a group glory, individual glory. Hallelujah. Nobody missing, nobody missing. So you are going to lay your hands upon your head. And because the Bible said that the glory, what did the glory do? The glory came and it was upon everybody's head. The glory sat on everybody's head. So you put your hand on your head and you begin to say, glory sit on my head. My head carry glory. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, like in the day of Pentecost, I connect to God Almighty, to the Spirit that is available. Even tonight, to God, I pray. Let glory sit on my head in the name of Jesus. La yo soroba I carry glory in the name of Jesus. I carry glory in the name of Jesus. Every man, every woman who have appeared before you, let them carry glory. Those watching. In the, corner, in the name of Jesus, in every area, carry glory, carry glory. No more, no more, no more. You carry nothing but glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Like in the day of Pentecost, let the fire fall upon us, God. In the name of Jesus, any man, any woman, wherever they are, of God Almighty, in their homes, in the hospital, wherever they are, let the glory locate, 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 locate everyone, locate them. Now, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to be praying. He says, You know, in Ephesians chapter 1, from verse 17 to 18, he says that you should know the hope of your calling, which is the hope of, of his glory. So, we are going to be praying that you understand the riches. Of the glory of Christ, the riches. What is his inheritance? What is that glory that is inside of us? If you don't understand the glory, that's why you begin to misbehave. But when you understand the glory that the deposit of glory inside of you, you don't live your life anyhow. You begin to receive revelation on how that glory, you begin to walk in glory. You don't misuse the glory. You begin to walk in glory. Some people say, oh, when you're born again, you do things anyhow. No, being born again makes you to walk in a higher level. You don't walk like others. You begin to walk in glory. So we are going to be praying. Father, as the glory has fallen upon me, give me supernatural understanding of the inheritance, what I have, what I have inherited. I have not inherited common things. I have inherited glory. Christ in me is the hope of glory. Christ in you is the hope of glory. So now begin to pray for the understanding of the glory you carry. Understanding, Lord Almighty. Give the boys understanding. Give the girls understanding. Give our world understanding. Give it understanding, O oh God Almighty, of the glory that we carry. What we carry, O oh God, so we don't carry our life anyhow. So that we can't live our life uselessly, O God. But we use our life usefully, O God. Displaying your glory, honoring you in every area. In the name of Jesus Christ, give us understanding. Remove every foolishness of God. In the name of Jesus, let the glory make its way in our life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to be praying. We are going to be praying from 1 John chapter 4, verse 17. He says, Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because yes. as he is, so are we in this world. This is so powerful. He said, as he is, which means the way Jesus is now, not as he was, as he is, so are we in this world. How is Jesus today? He is glorified. How is Jesus today? He is at the right hand of God. So the Bible is saying the way Jesus is, that's how you and I are today. That is the way I am. That is the way you are. So we are going to be prophesying my life. Repeat after me, my life. My life. Begin to reflect. Begin to reflect. The attributes of God. The attributes of God. My lifestyle. My lifestyle. Be consumed. Is consumed. We put in the glory of God. We put in the glory of God. On display. On display. My life. My life. Begin to reflect. Begin to reflect. The attributes of God. The attributes of God. My lifestyle. My lifestyle. Be consumed. Be consumed. With putting on. With putting on. The glory of God in display. The glory of God in display. Father. Father. We declare 
boldly, we declare boldly in your presence, in your presence that, healing, that healing, blessings, blessings abundance, abundance will follow us will follow everywhere us. we go All because Christ is inside of us. Because in of the name of Jesus, say, Father, Father we, will not we will not display this grace anymore. Display this grace. Say, Father, Father we, will we will not begin will not to, begin experience to experience this tsunami, this tsunami of everything, of everything that, is contained that is contained in the character of God. Character I, I make sure you're saying it. Make sure you're saying it. Say, Father, Father raise me raise from everything. Me. Every dead situation. Father, I declare boldly, I, I am seated in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers and mind and dominion and every name that is named on this earth. I am far above in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, the glorious power inside of me. Of me. Resurrect, Resurrect every good thing, every good thing in, my life in my life that is dead. That is dead. The power of God, power of God resurrects, resurrects every good thing, every good thing in, my life in my life that is dead. That is dead. The power of God inside of me deliver me deliver from me. every torment every of the devil. The power of God in me deliver me from every torment of the devil. The power of God in me make me overcome every trouble in my life. The power of God inside of me transform me gloriously in every way. In the name of Jesus, the glory of God inside of me is greater and stronger than the power that is existing anywhere. Open the power. Money water power. The power of God inside of me is greater and stronger than any power existing on the face of this earth. For greater is he in me than he that is in the world. I will not fear any power from the pit of hell in the name of Jesus. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You better speak for yourself. I am praying for myself and I'm going to get what I'm saying in the name of Jesus. What you say is what you get. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say, Father, Father, I have my enemies I, uh, under my feet. Under my feet. I am stepping on them. I am stepping on my enemies. Yes, I'm stepping on the head of my enemies. In the name of Jesus, I have my head on their neck. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Say, Father, I will see myself from now on as Jesus is. Say, Father, from now on, I'm above principalities. I'm above powers. Say, Father, from now on, I'm above every disease. I'm above every physical condition that the enemy has placed on me. In the name of Jesus, say, Lord, from now on, I'm above every fear. I'm above every depression. I'm above every addiction. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, from now on, I will reign over every negative situation in my life. In the name of Jesus, oh, begin to pray, begin to pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, Father, from now on, from now on, 
dawn, my light will shine as a morning in darkness. Say, Father, from now on, my darkness shall be like a noonday. Say, Lord, from now on, you will guide me continually. Say, Father, from now on, you will satisfy my soul even in time of famine. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, the glory upon my life will strengthen my bones. My bones are strengthened in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, because of your glory upon my life, I'm a water garden. I'm a water garden. There is no dryness in my life. I'm a water garden. I'm a spring of water. There is nothing dry in my life. In the name of Jesus, my water shall not fail. My water shall not fail. I will not run dry in any way. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, you will make me to ride on high places of this age. I am riding on high places of this age by your anointing, by your glory. I am riding on high places of the age. My sons, my daughters, my brothers, my sisters, every man, every woman of foundation ministry worldwide, on the last worldwide, we are riding on high places of this age. We relocate, we relocate, we relocate to high places. We relocate to the top in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rama Sekita, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. With inheritance of Jacob, my father. Say, Father. Feed me. With inheritance of Jacob, my father. Say, Father, I will see miracles performed in my life every day. Father, I will see my life beautified on a daily basis in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, every area I am blind, I begin to see in the name of Jesus. Every area I am deaf, I begin to hear in the name of Jesus. Every demon possessed person around me, I set free in the name of Jesus. Every dead person in my realm, I say be raised up to life in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I prophesy. Many people are coming to know the Lord Jesus. And many people will preach the gospel in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I move from ordinary person to an extraordinary person. I move from ordinary person to an extraordinary person because of this fasting and prayer, because of this anointing, because of this glory. I move from ordinary person to an extraordinary person in the name of Jesus. I move from a natural person to a supernatural person in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I will walk in the glory of God and the devil cannot, oh God, stand me in the name of Jesus. The glory of God in the name of Jesus. Glory of God is upon my feet. Anywhere the soul of my feet shall touch, I take it for my possession. In the name of Jesus, the glory of God is upon my feet. In the name of Jesus, I make all the devil and his cohort my footstool. I am stepping on them. In the name of Jesus, wherever they are, wherever they are located. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. This is what we are going to say. The glory of God is in me. Oh, say it like you believe it. Shout it like you believe it. The glory of God is in me. Let God hear you. The glory of God is in me. Say it to anoint the devil. Say it more than you know it. The glory of God is in me. Hallelujah. The glory of God is in me. I receive the glory and I'm walking in it in the name of Jesus. These three statements, as you are rounding up the prayer now, as you are rounding up the prayer, it will be your watchword. Make sure you go and write it. You can write it on your door. You can write it anywhere. You say to yourself, every day you wake up, the glory of God is in me. I receive it and I'm walking in it. The glory of God 
is in me. I receive it and I walk in it. The glory of God is in me. I receive it. I walk in it. The glory of God is in me. I receive it and I walk in it. Hallelujah. Oh, Rabashatalaba. Let's give up praise. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Oh, let's give him praise. Oh, he has helped us so much. Oh, his glory is covering our nation. He's covering our family. He's covering our world. Let's give him praise. Oh, that is due to him. Oh, Lama Toki Amatalaba. He brought a Kuprana cause. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah. 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 If there is anybody watching online, they are not giving their life to Christ. I beg you, give your life to Christ because it's only Christ in you. Christ in you that will bring the glory. If you have not given your life to Christ, please go and give your life to Christ. We give you this opportunity. Say, Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and personal Savior. I surrender all to you. In any way I have gone against you. Forgive me. I give my life back to you. Let your glory come inside of me. I become your temple. Your living temple. In the name of Jesus. And as he has said that, the spirit of God is inside of you. The glory of God will begin to manifest in your life. Hallelujah. Let's be your name. Let us worship. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabbi, thank you, disappoint the Lord Jesus Christ, that you will walk in the way that pleases God all the days of his life. In the name of Jesus, O Rabbi Shekhetera, in the name of Jesus, O Rabbi Shekhetera, let your power rule upon his life, let your glory rule upon his life, let every need of God inside of him reflect glory, in the name of Jesus, Thank you, because Lord, you will use it mightily. Everyone is invited to come down to Apostle's house for us to round up the fasting and prayer and they celebrate. You know, it will be good to have everyone. Those who can come, come. 
And uh, those who can come, just give me a shout. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And just to cap it all, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And just to cap it all, you know, just to let you know that you are stepping into bigger things now. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are stepping into bigger things. Into bigger things. No more smallness, no more smallness. You are stepping into bigger things. Amen. Bigger things. You begin to realize some places that are small for you. Amen. You begin to notice that there are some things that are too small for you. Amen. And the Lord will cause you to walk into bigger things. Amen. Into bigger things. Into bigger things. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You can read you can read second uh, second Kings chapter six there and you read from the beginning there. You see, these people were with the prophet, and the Bible says that they kind of noticed that where they were was too small. And they say, let us, let us move out of here because this place is too small for us. And they moved out and they moved into bigger things. And that is your portion at the end of this, uh, uh, from the end of this uh, fast of the fifth month, that you are stepping into bigger things for Amen. the rest of the year. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Big, 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 you are a great God. Oh, you are Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being with us. God bless you.